this morning on the old Canva video that I did several years ago. And I wanted to do an update video because um, it doesn't work quite the same anymore when you want to do an offset around a sticker. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into Canva. I will let you know up front that I have Canva for Teams, but you can do this on Canva, the free Canva, okay? First thing I'm going to do is go up to Create Design. We're going to do a custom size. I usually do a page size. Uh, then you're going to go over to your uploads. You're going to find a picture that you want to create your sticker out of. So we're going to do this little guy. But because I'm going to do a white edge around it and I can't really see, what I always do is I put in a, a nonsensical background color that's not really going to... Oops, see, I put rainbow on here, so it's not really working. Anyway, a nonsensical color. So the next thing you're going to do is you're going to go up here to where it says Edit Photo. Edit, edit Photo, you're going to go to Filters. I'm sorry, not Filters, FX, FX, and you're going to hit Shadows. On Shadows, you're going to hit Outline. Because in the old version on Canva, you would hit glow and then you'd have to make a bunch of adjustments. On outline, you just have to click outline. You see how it automatically thickened my black outline. We're going to change it to white because that's the color I prefer for my outlines. Uh, that's very thin. I would like them bigger. So we're going to make it up to, let's see, let's do 50. Okay. Um, and then, I mean, there's other things you can change here, but for the purposes of making stickers, I do this. And I do this in Canva versus in Design Space because Design Space, either putting an offset on um, will lock up my program and or it disappears after I click off of it, which is annoying. So now you can um, click out of the search, you can expand. Now, if you watched my other video, you know that I told you before that sometimes the edges go away when you resize it. This way, in the new version, um, it does not. So now you have the perfect thing. So how do you print this um, or save this without the blue background? One, you can change the background to white and you'll know it's there, but the easiest way is just go to download, do transparent background, hit download and then it will download just the sticker. So uh, I know this was short and sweet. I just hope that it was helpful and let me know uh, if you have any other questions uh, with Canva. Let me know. I've been using it since pretty much its inception. So um, I know a lot of stuff about it and I'm happy to help. All right. Thanks guys.